Hey everybody, this is Rob Wilson with Performance Therapeutics and Prepare to Perform. And if you're watching this video, then that probably means you decided to take on the hypermobility program. So hypermobility is a problem that doesn't get talked about very much. Um, most athletes that coaches deal with have mobility issues, meaning they don't have enough range of motion to get into uh, good positions to complete movement tasks. Hypermobile athletes, on the other hand, have too much range of motion um, and a lot of times are lacking intrinsic joint stability uh, and have a lot of problems with stiffness and motor control, which can create its own separate set of issues. So the hypermobility program uh, that I've put together is specifically designed for athletes um, who have issues on that side of the house where they're not really sure how to progress uh, into a place where they can have more success with dynamic movements and, and strength uh, movements. So the hypermobility program, um, there's, a, there's a, a good bit to it. It's a 12 week program is, which is <clears throat> about the minimum that I think you can get away with to, to start developing a starting place uh, to deal with hypermobility. It by all means is not designed to be like a 12 week cure to your hypermobility. That's not what we're after. It's for you to better understand how to use some basic tools to deal with the issues that come about because of hypermobility. All right, so the first and most important thing is that at the beginning of the cycle, at the beginning of the 12 week cycle, we have two types of tests. One is the Byton score. And the Byton score is an orthopedic test of correlates that show intrinsic joint hypermobility. All right, now uh, all that stuff is in the program. I'm not gonna go into detail about it here, but just click on it and there's a video and a picture that are gonna show you how to do the test. Now there is a score, so make sure you score it, put your score in in the available slot on Train Heroic so that at the end of the 12 weeks when we retest, you'll have an opportunity to see where you are. Now, just because at the end, if you might have the same score, you may be, uh, or you may have some congenital hypermobility, like you were born with more uh, lax ligamentous structures, um, and that's okay. And that's why we have a second testing component, and that's more of a performance-based component, right? So orthopedic tests don't always yield or show uh, actual performance uh, differences. So we're going to have an orthopedic test on one hand, and then we're going to have a performance test, which is going to be squat positions, um, squat dropping, overhead squats, and things like that that show an athlete's ability to control uh, dynamic movement variables, uh, which are a lot of times a huge issue for hypermobile, hypermobile athletes. Um, so we're going to go about addressing your hypermobility with a few different uh, components that I found over the years helping athletes who are hypermobile are really important okay uh, so there's a few things one we're gonna do compound tempo movements now these are the heart of the program so we're gonna be doing a lot of tempo squatting tempo bench pressing tempo Romanian deadlifts and tempo um, strict pressing all right so those movements all have very limited movement variables that are easy to deal with and control and the reason for the tempo is because you have to be constantly aware and in control of your position uh, in all directions of the movement pattern so please pay attention to the tempo that's given uh, and if you don't if you've never done anything with tempo before it's explained uh, in the individual videos for the movement okay so the explanations there uh, as far as the tempo movements are concerned they're all done with a barbell uh, you should be using a linear strength progression. If you've never done a linear strength progression before, shame on you, unless you didn't know, and then, you know, not shame on you. All right, but a linear progression basically means that you're adding weight to the bar each week, somewhere between five and 10 pounds. And if you're not really sure where to start for your linear, so for example, let's just say uh, you are doing the squat and you've never maxed a squat before, and you really don't know where to start for your back squat. Let's say you work up in weight and you get to three, three sets of five repetitions for 100 pounds, then every week after that, you're gonna try to add five pounds, 
right? As long as, one, you can control the position, most important, and two, you can complete all three sets of five. Now, if you get to a place where you can either no longer control position or you cannot complete the assigned uh, repetitions, then you go back, take about 10% off, and then you build back up, all right? So the weight isn't so important as the position, 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 okay? So that's one. All of your movements will involve a linear progression that uh, starts at a weight that you know you can move for three sets of five repetitions, and then you're going to increase that weight each week throughout the cycle, okay? All right, now remember, again, it's at your pace, so don't feel like there's a certain weight you have to get to. It's not even recorded in the program, so don't do that to yourself, all right? There's no score there. Second component of the program is hypertrophy, and hypertrophy literally means we're trying to increase the size of the muscle, right? Because one, having larger, having larger muscles with a little bit more mass changes the way that your musculature contracts around the joint, stabilizes the joint, and it makes the connective tissue around the joint stiff, right? And that's what we want. We want to add stiffness to joints that are intrinsically unstable, okay? So make sure you are hitting those uh, hypertrophy movements, those assistance exercises. It's really important. Now, by that same token, some of those uh, those smaller engines around your shoulders and your hips, they're gonna be feeling a little bit and you might be you might have some, some good local soreness there. So make sure that at the end of each workday, you're performing the prescribed uh, sort of cool down, clean up work, all right? So if it says smash your glutes or smash your triceps or whatever, get on it because the hypertrophy work is gonna make you more stiff, um, but you don't wanna lose all of it, okay? So get on top of that stuff. The third component is isometrics. And isometric literally means there's no change in your joint angle. So we're holding a position and we're just creating maximal stiffness and we're holding that stiffness for a prescribed amount of time. And during that, we're gonna be using planks, isometric squats, isometric deadlifts and all kinds of things in order to create positional awareness and increase your ability to just generate tension uh, around individual joint structures and then throughout your whole body. So that way, one, you can protect yourself and protect your joints from accessory, accessory movement and sliding around between joint surfaces that we don't want, but then also you have more direct transfer of force from your feet into the ground through your body and then into the barbell, right? So that's where the performance component comes in. So the isometrics are to improve positional awareness and the ability to create tension in your body. And then throughout the program, uh, you'll find this theme, and there'll be some specific exercises for our fourth component, which is motor control exercises. So there may be some uh, variations of some of the performance tests that we have. We have a midway test, but it's really, important uh, that whether you're doing a specific motor control exercise or whether you're just performing uh, an assistance work exercise, isometrics, whatever, that you're being very purposeful and conscious with your movement. So motor control is of the utmost importance in this program um, because it's one of the big problems that hypermobile athletes have is they have trouble feeling where the end of their range of motion is in space. Okay, so if you guys have any questions as you go through the program, hit me up on the feed, let me know if you're having problems, and, uh, and I'll answer you as, as best I can. All right, I hope you enjoy the program, and uh, please uh, record your results, record your work, uh, put some videos up, tag me, I'm at prepare to perform on uh, Instagram and you can also tag uh, at train heroic uh, and make sure you let them know what program you're doing and uh, you know any uh, any information you want to say about the program so I hope you guys have fun and I uh, wish you a success